Hey everyone, just another Tesla guy here. Today is July 15th, Monday. This morning I just got the version 12.4.3 update for full self driving, which brings the vision based monitor monitoring. And I'm super excited to try it out. So just gonna do a quick video. Going to a regular location, shop right. So we have some streets, some highways, and seeing how 12.4.3 works. I'm currently not wearing shades so that I can try out the vision based monitoring. And I have a pair of shades so you guys can see the difference. All right, now let these pedestrian finish crossing to get on the train. And then once I turn into here, once I make the right turn, I'll turn on full self driving. But super, super excited to try out the vision base so that I don't have to apply pressure to the steering wheel. It's a car behind me, so yep, he's also gonna make a right turn. So I'll proceed a little bit. Pedestrian crossing, and it's not clear yet, so we'll give it a few seconds. All right, it's clear now. All right, gonna engage full self driving. Make this full screen. So you can tell by a green dot up here, right by my battery icon. That means that it's using the camera above the rear view mirror to monitor me. And I don't have to apply pressure to the steering wheel every couple of minutes. Cause you see that I'm, okay, it's, no, you should not do that. All right, that, see now I need to, let me disengage that. I'm just gonna move back myself. My goodness, could have just could have just stayed there, you know. To be honest, uh, man, how am I gonna merge over? <sighs> oh well, you know what? I'm gonna take another way and get on the highway further down. It really did not need to do that, which is why I want. I don't. I missed it, but I just turned on minimal lane changes and. Hopefully, they can enable that to be on by default. So I'll merge on the highway further down so I can still experience full self driving when it does exit the highway. So you can then make that left turn. But there was really zero need to move to the right just to move back to the left. I was have been totally fine staying on that lane. Like it immediately moved to the right and it had its left finger on so right, waiting to move, merge back. Like, I don't need to cut anyone off like that. That's, the lane was moving anyway. So I don't know why I need to do that. But I am in the assertive setting. So maybe that's why it's being assertive here, but that's a little bit too aggressive. Let's move to here and need to make a left turn here. All right. I'm still I'm still controlling it um, just in case it does something crazy on the streets again. Right. Let's re-engage full self-driving. You should know how to get on the highway, hopefully. Yeah, it does. Okay. Getting on the highway here. Okay, let's see how would it merge in or should I take over? Can move a little closer. Okay, we have, I'm gonna merge a little bit early. Car ahead of this one, but that's okay. 
All right, let's keep it going. Take this exit and the left turn. It's just an important one. Is it gonna go into curb? Or can I make a good left turn? Alright, see it's wavering. I just disengage. That's not good. Shouldn't need to waver. We should just have exit smoothly. And yeah, that wavering just doesn't make me feel like it's doing a good job. So I definitely disengage, especially if there's cars behind me that's about to exit. We were a little bit clear, so we're good there, but shouldn't need to waver back and forth there. Just exit. Um, I, you know what? Let's see. Let's see it make this left turn. And we'll see what happens. Okay, there's a car behind me. A couple cars behind me. So, I'm just going to be ready to disengage in case it does something it shouldn't. Okay. Yep. Mm. All right. Good job there. Good job on that left turn. That should always, that should be the way to do it for this left turn. Um, but the exit was a little eh, wavering, shifting back and forth from the left and right lane. I mean, um, the exit lane, sorry. So if there was cars behind me, they would probably not be sure what I was attempting to do. I had the right blinker on showing that I was gonna move over but it just wavering back and forth. So that was not good, but this left turn was good. It didn't hit the strip. And it made the left turn. All right. Now just time to get on the highway and should be easy for it. I'm also about 2000, let's see, pay attention to the road. Because I'm looking at the screen instead of looking straight at the road. So instead of apply instead of the message saying apply pressure, it says to um, pay attention to the road, which is pretty good. And I haven't need to apply any pressure to the steering wheel, which has been great so far. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I'm about 2,900 miles. So I'll do a quick review on um, this car when it hits 3,000. Should be around sometime next week. So definitely subscribe to stay tuned for that video. Okay, now I'm on the version 12 and it's going too slow to be in this lane. So let me bump up the speed to 60. And I'm just gonna put on some sunglasses so you guys can see what the message would pop up. Should be just quick, I think. See, attention monitoring unavailable, sunglasses are detected. So I'm here, I'm guessing soon I will need to apply some pressures to the steering wheel in a couple minutes. Apply slight force turning to the wheel. Okay, let me take it back off and see how long that takes to pick up the message. What is the work? Let's see.
for about 20 to 30 seconds. The green dot reappear right up here. So I'm able to just put my hands free. So after full self driving got off the highway, my video got cut off. So it's missing the clip of it taking the local streets to shop right, but nothing happened and it got me there just fine. Overall, I didn't like that it tried to cut people off to get ahead. It might be due to me in the assertive setting, so we'll try again in the chill setting. And that it was very indecisive at the exit lane. Luckily, there weren't any cars behind me that was exiting, so it didn't confuse any other drivers. But it did give off the impression that it's not confident. But I feel like both of these incidents, I didn't really need to disengage the car and the car would have made it over back to the left lane to get on the highway and it would eventually exit at the exit lane. I just didn't want to look silly. So I had to disengage and take over. But however, I did like that it was able to make the left turn without hitting the medium strip. Hopefully newer versions can keep it up. And finally, being able to use full cell driving without having to apply force has been great. Can't wait to test this out some more. So let me know what you think about this newer 12.4.3 down in the comments below. All right, thanks for watching this one. Bye for now. Okay, stopping well before the limit line here. And we are clear. We're clear, there was no need to stop. That was a heartbreak anyway, so I'm not sure why.